What's up, YouTube? Brian here. They uh, stocked one of the big ponds in my in my shouchu, so I'm gonna go around the pond and show you guys the pond and all the fish. So you can see there's lots of willow trees and other trees around the edge of the pond, and then there's a outflow waterfall over here that goes down there under that bridge and links to some of the other ponds. So they got some. Goldfish in here and a few koi. Let's see what we can see. There's some of the long fin goldfish. There's quite a few fish in here, it's a big pond. God, look at all those tadpoles down there. All that black. I don't know if you can see them moving, but like that, all that black, all these little black spots, those are like a bajillion tadpoles. Gonna have some toads soon. That's a lot of tadpoles. All right, so yeah, during, when they turn the water up, it flows over these rocks right here, down into this channel and goes over there to another pond. There's like, I think there's like five or six ponds all together. They're all like connected to each other. Here goes one of the goldfish. There's some more. That's, round thing in the center is a fountain. I don't think I've ever actually seen them with it turned on, but let's go around this way through the bushes. I don't want to stomp on anyone's flowers, but all right. Oh, look at those two big black koi. But yeah, then we have this walkway over here. There's a couple more of the koi. I don't know any of the names of the types of koi. So I think most of these are like hybrids anyway. But yeah, there's what, four koi right there? You can see more of the goldfish out here. Then all these pots are growing. What are those called in English? I always get confused between water lilies and water lotus, but basically those, I think they're lilies, those things that put up the pads and then flowers. I mean, I think both of those plants put up pads, which is why I get them confused, but those should be pretty in a little while when they start blooming. There go all the koi. focus it's not working very well. That gold one looks pretty sweet. Let's see what else we can find over here. There's some more of the goldfish. Oh look at the fins on that one back there, that red and white one. It's a huge caudal fin. I don't know if you can see that but Looks pretty sweet. Oh, here come the koi. There's a bunch of the goldfish eating the, the debris that's falling off the trees. There's a bunch in there too, but I don't know if you can see them underneath all that scum on camera. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I like when they swim in big groups like that. It looks really cool. <laughs> Just to be clear, I do not own this pond. This pond is part of where I live, but it's not maintained by me or anything. The staff of the complex maintains it. See all these buildings? One, two... Three, four, 
five, six, there's like 10 or 11 in total. You can't see them all from where I'm standing, but all of those buildings are 30 or 32 stories tall. And um, they're all full of apartments. And then around this, in the center is this big garden and pond area. There's another one on the other side with like a small mountain, or I guess more of a hill with a gazebo on the top and hiking trails all over it and stuff. And then around the entire thing, all the buildings and all the gardens and everything, there's like a wall and a gate and you gotta go in through gated entrances with guards and stuff. So this is pretty typical for China. They are called Xiaoqi. And this is a nice one. I mean, some of them aren't nearly this nice, but if you pay a high rent, you can live in a place like this or if you buy a nice apartment. But we obviously, we don't wanna buy a house in China because we're not gonna live here forever. All right guys, well that's pretty much the view on this pond. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off because this is getting kind of long, but I hope you guys enjoy it. You can hear the birds and see all the trees and greenery. And I will go back to the playground and go play with my kid. So, see you guys later, and thanks for watching.